I've been doing self-tracking for about eight years now. Uh, and it started as a sort of professional interest, then quickly migrated into a very personal thing for me. And one of the things that I really find fascinating and useful about self-tracking is my dream of living a healthy life until I die, basically. I hope to become old, not to live forever, but be as healthy as I can until the end. During my time as a, as a self-tracker, I've tracked a lot of different things. Some have been helpful, some not, but I've tracked my activity level, my heartbeat rate, uh, sleep, my general caloric intake. I track my blood glucose level. I've had a gene test done. Uh, I've tried uh, to have uh, samples made from my um, gut biome and, and also from other bacterial samples uh, from around my body. I'm, I'm also tracking, of course, lots of stuff that I do in daily life. Uh, which apps that I use, uh, how long time I sit in front of my PC, and so on and so forth. So, lots of stuff. During the years, I've been trying lots of gadgets, some for sleep, some for eating, some for activity, lot of, lots of different activity uh, trackers. Today, I'm using basically two or three things. Uh, my iPhone is central to all that I do. It has a lot of different apps that I use, uh, but also my Apple Watch is uh, my activity tracker of choice. And of course, it lets me interact with some of the other tracking apps that I use. Other than that, my trusty friend uh, from eight years of, of self-tracking has been my Wythings uh, Wi-Fi scales uh, that I jump on every morning uh, to get my weight, my fat percentage, and, and now also in the new version, my, my heartbeat rate, uh, and it tracks a few other things as well, the CO2 level in the bedroom and, and, and so on. Um, I have also done uh, recently a few experiments with my, uh, my glucose meter uh, that I use for tracking uh, my blood glucose uh, levels. Not that I'm a diabetic, but just for, for the fun of uh, seeing uh, how my, my glucose uh, levels um, change with, with eating habits. I feel more aware of my own health. It's had this um, effect of getting me to think more about what I eat and how much I move and how well I sleep and what's my digestion like and what are my genes telling me about my body. So I've become more aware. Tracking yourself every day and collecting lots of different types of data can be time consuming. And I don't think I'm going to be tracking 10 or 15 different types of data for the rest of my life unless I can automate it. And luckily you can for, for a lot uh, of, of types of data. But um, I think tracking the basics like my activity level, my weight, uh, possibly stuff around eating uh, is something that I'm going to do for my, the rest of my life, I think.